This is the new Ford Torneo Custom. It's based on Britain's biggest selling transit van. So not only does it offer outstanding space, but it's a really practical tow car for a large family. So let's take a look around. Once you've clambered in, and it is quite hiked to get in, this actual interior is quite nice. The plastics are reasonably okay, and there's some nice trim which just gives it a more of an upmarket feel. It's very easy to get a driving position. There's lots of adjustment in the steering. There's rake and reach. And it also benefits from loads of other storage. It has no fewer than five cup holders, one either side, two in this little sneaky pull down, which also has a pen storage and paper storage and another little one here. So you have a nice big deep glove box. You have two large cubby holes here. You have a nice storage up here with a coin tray in it. Got sunglasses case here. The air conditioning has been upgraded and it works really, really well. And it's nice that it's physical dials rather than digital. You've also got heated seats and Ford's heated windscreen, which works really well in the winter. You also get a 12 volt here and a USB port. And also, lurking in this cupboard here, you have another 12 volt and another US charger, so there's plenty to charge your devices with. Sliding doors either side makes access into the rear of the Torneo so easy. The seats are really comfortable, well supported and bolstered. And as you can see, I have copious amounts of room. All these seats are removable, so you can have different combinations. And if you're not using all the seats, the backs fold down, so you can have this nice little tabletop, which has two cup holders in, and there's the same on the back of this one too. There's also bottle holders and copious amounts of charging points. There's two here, two on that side, and two down in the front. The rear also has its own temperature controls, so everybody can be comfortable front and rear. And even with all the seats in position, the Torneo still offers you a massive boot. This is the long wheelbase version. So you get 1,930 litres of space with all the seats still in. The new Ford Tonneo Custom is now fitted with the latest 2-litre Ford EcoBlue diesel engine. They come in three power outputs, 105 PS, 170 PS, and the one we have on test here, the 130 PS. And being based on the best-selling transit van, you'd expect it to drive well. And I'm glad to say it does. It delivers a really spirited drive and there's plenty of grip. And with Ford's roll stability control, it's not only a doddle to drive, it's a joy to drive. The high driving position gives you a commanding view of the road. As for the towing, well, to be truthful, I forgot I was actually towing. It's so easy. There were a couple of fairly small gripes. Firstly, I did need to give a little bit more stick get it off the line than when I was driving solo. But we were hauling a hefty coachman caravan weighing 1,630 kilos. Admittedly, once uncoupled and being driven as a solo unit again, the pickup was noticeably quicker. But that's not to say that it felt underpowered or was a slouch when towing at all. That was until it came to an incline. Then it was a little tough going, but dropped down a gear and it picked up the pace immediately. Thankfully, the gearbox is easy and precise once up cruising speed, it was solid as a rock and felt super safe and secure. So, the Ford Torneo Custom. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, I admit. But if you need to transport people and or sporting equipment and caravan equipment, then it's definitely worth taking a look. It certainly put a smile on my face. <laughs>